are you considering moving to Canada and exploring the provincial nominee program as a potential pathway? Well, if your answer is yes, then I'm happy to tell you that there are over 80 provincial nominee program across 10 provinces in Canada that applicants can decide to, you know, to explore this 2024. But for the sake of this video, I'll be talking about five most easiest and fastest provinces where you and your family can get your permanent residency in Canada this year, 2024 and beyond. It is important to know that every PNP that is the provincial nominee programs have its own unique requirements and criteria to apply so that is to say that your profile i mean your age your education your work experience and your language ability will determine which of the provincial nominee program best suits you or i'll just say that provincial nominee programs are actually designed to fill some gaps in labor force and because of this candidates in high demand occupations are usually targeted so if you'd like to explore this pathway i mean the provincial nominee program pathway to come over to canada and become a permanent resident I'll encourage that you watch this video to the very end and take notes as we dive right into the video. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Narad Billo and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If it is your first time of seeing my beautiful face, I say you are highly welcome. I am a Nigerian content creator living in the city of Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. And every week I post useful and educative content on my channel and this has to do with my lifestyle and especially how you and your family can make it down to Canada and become permanent residents of Canada. If this is your first time on my channel, I will encourage you to subscribe to my channel and turn on your bell notifications so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I post a new video. And to my returning subscribers, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the love. You're coming back on here to, you know, to watch my chat, my content. It means a lot to me. And without further ado, let's dive in. And the first province on my list to get your PR fast in 2024 is Saskatchewan. Oh yes, guys, Saskatchewan, the land of the living skies. This province has become a popular destination for many immigrants due to its strong economic growth and many job opportunities. Saskatchewan selects applicants through the Saskatchewan Immigrant Nominee Program. The SIMP. And this is achieved under two important streams, and these are the occupation in demand and express entry. So these two streams and select candidates that are already in the expression of interest system. Well, I've actually talked about these two streams in some of my videos. You might want to check that out if you're interested. For you to submit an expression of interest profile, you need to have at least one year of skilled work experience in any of the occupations that are not in the SIMP exclu excluded list. And these are being a legislator or working in the government as a manager or anything that has to do with government work. Say. You need to also have completed a post-secondary school and be able to speak in English, language, or French. And amongst other criteria to open or to create an EOI profile is your age, your language ability, as well as your connection to Saskatchewan labor market. So in general, to submit your EOI profile, you need to score at least 60 points out of the 110 um, point in the SIMP point grade. Only candidates with the most competitive SIMP score and an in-demand occupation are going to be invited during the EOI. Um, SIMP draw. And if you're already the express entry pool, you can easily create your EOI profile by going onto the SIMP portal in order to expedite your application for permanent residence. If you do not qualify for, you know, creating an express entry profile, maybe due to age or work experience, you can easily go onto the SIMP portal and, you know, apply through the in demand occupation stream. I think that will work for you. Like I mentioned earlier, your profile will determine what program suits you. So good luck. Now, we're moving on to the next province where you can get your PR fast in 2024. Um, I would like to also mention that there are other programs that you can apply to under the SIMP, and this is the Art of Use Skill Pilot Program. I'm going to leave a link in the description box on how you can, you know, you know, apply to this program and come over to Canada or to Saskatchewan and live and work as permanent resident. Now, the second province where you can come over to Canada and get your PR fast is the province of Alberta. And in this case, I'll be talking about the Alberta Express Entry. Alberta is a home to some of the Canada's thriving cities, and these are Calgary and Edmonton. Alberta is a significant province for potential immigrants, and this is due to its strong employment market and excellent educational system. And just like every other province, Alberta and select candidates that are already in the express entry and allow them to, you know, to apply for nomination. One major benefit of this program, I mean, the Alberta express entry, is that um, they consider um, candidates that are already in the express entry poll and candidates that have the low CRS score. I'm talking about as low as 300 points. So this simply means that more candidates in the poll that have interest of living in Alberta will receive notice of interest from the province. And for you to be successful at this program, there are some factors you need to meet which can eventually boost your chances in getting notification of invite from the province of Alberta. 
and these are you need to have a relative i mean like a family house in the province of abalta and this person could be a citizen or a permanent resident now that is that you need to have a job offer from the province of alberta and in some cases you need to have a post-secondary school diploma from a canadian school and once you're nominated you're, you're going to get an additional 600 points from the province and this is going to be added to your ee profile which is the access entry profile and this automatically boosts your chances of getting invite the next express entry draw. Now, the next province to get here are your PR fast in 2024 is the province of Nova Scotia. And in this case, I'll be discussing the Nova Scotia labor market priority stream. Nova Scotia is one of the province in the Atlantic region of Canada. And because of its closeness to the ocean, this province has become the dream destination of many newcomers because of the natural beauties and wonders that it has. Plus, it has the lowest crime rates in Canada. So the Nova Scotia Labor Market Priority Stream also selects candidates directly from the Express Entry Poll. Now, one thing that makes this program stand out is that applicants get their PR faster in this province without having a connection to the province, unlike Alberta. And this simply means that you do not need to have either a sister, a brother, or a cousin in order to be nominated to come over to Nova Scotia and work and leave as PR. More importantly, Nova Scotia do not have a list of priority occupation. All you need to do is um, you, you have an active express entry profile and indicate that you have interest in coming over to Nova Scotia to live and work. And just like every other provinces, um, they have pros and cons. And one of the cons of living in Nova Scotia is that the cost of living could be slightly high, especially if you're living in the major city like Halifax. And this leaves us to the next province where you can get your PR fast in the year 2024. And this is Manitoba. Manitoba is located in the heart of Canada and it offers ranges of opportunities for people that are seeking for permanent residency in Canada. Aside from its friendly community and stunning natural scenery, there are many ways in which you can come into Manitoba and get your PR fast in the year 2024 and part of the streams are the skilled worker stream this stream is for skilled workers with experience i mean with work experience in the in-demand occupation in manitoba and the second stream is the business investor stream so these streams are for those that are either manager or business owner that want to come over to manitoba and invest or start a new business in manitoba and the last is the international education stream and this is mainly for international students that have graduated from a post-secondary school in Manitoba. And just like I mentioned earlier, every province have its own pros and cons. And part of the pros of living in Manitoba is that it has a relatively low cost of living as compared to other provinces. And as a matter of fact, that is one thing that makes it eye-catching for many newcomers who want to come over to Manitoba and live and work as permanent residents. The second pros of living in Manitoba is that immigrants that settle in Manitoba are seen to, you know, to stay longer in that province. And this is, of course, due to its um, low cost of living and other social benefits that they get to enjoy. Lastly, the economy of Manitoba offers job opportunities in various industries. And this includes the healthcare industry, the agriculture, the uh, manufacturing industry, and many more. So part of the cons of living in Manitoba is that they experience long and cold winter with lots of snowfalls. And also it has a very small population, I mean in size, and as well as having a very limited transportation system, especially if you live outside the capital city, which is Winnipeg. Now moving on to the last province where you can get your PR fast in Canada 2024, and this is the province of Prince Edward Island. PEI for short. Prince Edward Island is a charming province and this is due to its natural beauty, welcoming community and a growing economy. Out of all the provinces in Canada, PEI, I mean the Prince Edward Island is regarded as the smallest and this is due to its land area and population. And despite its small size, this province offers various opportunities for individuals who want to come over to Canada and obtain the permanent residence. The provincial nominee program for this province has multiple streams, and part of which are the express entry stream. Second is the labor impact stream, and these are for skilled workers who have job offer in any of the in-demand occupation in Prince Edward Island. And the third is the business um, impact category, and these are for individuals who want to start a business or invest in a business in Prince Edward Island. A part of the pros of living in Prince Edward Island is that it has a relatively low cost of living and because of its small size, it offers very close and friendly communities to newcomers. PER economy is based on agriculture and tourism 
and because of this it has lots of job opportunities in this industry and part of the cons of living in Prince Edward Island is that it has a limited job opportunities as compared to larger province and this is due to its small size another cons of living in Prince Edward Island is that um, the economy is based on tourism and because of this there's usually a short term of employment and this leads to displacement of workers because over time workers have to reapply or look for another job in this sector i hope you understand this now this brings us to the end of today's video and i hope you enjoy it but before i go i would like to say that even though there are over 80 pathways to come over to canada the provincial nomination pathway is one of the easiest routes and this video has just explained five different provinces in which you can get your PR faster in the year 2024 and beyond. So what I um, encourage you to do is that, you know, have a list, have a book or a diary where you can put down all your own unique profile, your quality. I and mean, this has to do with your age, your work experience and your school, your language ability. You need to write them out and then you have to compare what's the eligibility criteria for each province is what they need what you have in order for you to narrow down the particular program that best suits your profile so i wish you all the best and if you enjoyed this video i want you to click on the like button by showing this girl some love you know so i can you know be ginger to do more for you in the future and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel i'll encourage that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i post a new video and i'll see you again in my next video very soon and until then bye